In today's video, I will show you the simplest way to tap into the body's innate wisdom in order to expedite the healing process. When the process of muscle testing is understood from a neurological standpoint, it's an amazing technique that measures a natural stress response called binary biofeedback, the measure of the body's response to a stimulus. Enjoy! Hi, it's Monica, your intuitive trauma transformation coach, who helps you face and successfully navigate through the storms of life, guiding you through a most powerful self-healing process and teaching you all the mindfulness tools you need to embark on your journey to your core self and create the life you've always envisioned. As we all know, muscles are controlled by nerves and will respond differently to different nerve messages. Hence, we have the ability to measure muscle strength as a way to understand what the nervous system is trying to tell us. By tapping into the nervous system, we can determine imbalances in the body and address them. This allows the body to use its own innate ability to heal itself. Nothing magical here. Just a way to work with the natural flow of the body to create balance and health. When the body is presented with something that it perceives as a stress to the system, the electrical signals between the muscles and the brain are short-circuited and the muscle being tested is weakened the binary biofeedback response. Muscle testing is performed in many different ways, but the most common form is done by having the testee hold an item while trying to resist downward pressure placed on the arm by the tester. A strong resistant arm is considered a yes response and a weak arm is considered a no response. The goal is to regain or maintain balance, often working with the meridian or energy systems already in place within the body. By using the most amazingly complex computer on the planet, the human brain. But how can we muscle test ourselves without the help of another person or the use of a pendulum? Before I explain to you how it is done, please click on subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell and post your comments or questions below. This is the best and easiest muscle testing technique to start with because it's simple and the results are very clear. Practice it at home until you feel confident. It's called the sway test. And I love it because almost everyone can do it immediately. Before you start, it's a good idea to drink a glass of water to rule out dehydration as a possible negative influence on the accuracy of your testing. Then comfortably straight yet relaxed. It is normal for your body to move a little while you are standing. Your eyes can be open or closed, but keep them open if it helps you keep your balance. I don't want you to fall down. Take a few breaths in this position so that you can really feel your balance and ground. 
have the intention of being really grounded and yet really light within your own center of gravity. Self-testing using the sway test can be difficult if you are feeling rigid within your body frame. Unlock your knees and don't overthink the process. Take the food or supplement, etc., that you want to test and hold it uh, on your solar plexus, your navel, or in front of your thymus. Bring your consciousness to being open to whatever information your whole body system will show you. This means getting out of your own way and not bringing any bias into the testing like, oh, I really want to eat this and I want the test to be strong or um, I know I'm allergic to gluten. So the reaction to this bread has to be backward. Keep your focus on your breath and your center of gravity as you allow your energy fields to interact with the energy field of the food or supplement. Have a childlike curiosity and neutrally observe which way your body moves. A forward sway towards the food means the food is beneficial for you. And a backward sway away from the food means the food is harmful to you. No sway, no movement either means the food is neutral for you or you are stuck. Mostly it's a blockage or self-sabotage. The advantage of this biofeedback technique is that you can do it anytime and anywhere in health food stores, for example, when you are testing supplements. If in doubt, you can ask yes or no questions like, is it for my highest good to do this or that or join or eat this or that? You can also find out when you started, for example, having a fear of heights by asking, did it start when I fell down the stairs or did it start between the age of zero and five, five and 10 and so on. Anyways, let me know if it works for you or if you have any questions, I'm here to answer them, right? And like always, peace begins with me. Namaste, namaste.